guys, what's up? Uh, a amazing moment here. Really excited to be joining the Bungie guys talking about the upcoming uh, rise of Iron Expansion. I'm joined by... Eric Osborne, Eric Osborne. Community. It's not that amazing. It's pretty amazing. Well, yeah. it's amazing for me, maybe not that amazing <laughs> for you, but this is a pretty big deal for me. I'm the other way like, Ah, right. come on. Um, but anyway, so we just wanted to talk about what's going on at the Rise of Iron expansion, which comes out when? September 20th. September 20th. Yeah. All right, cool. So what's like the, the headline? What's the intro that you'd like that... Uh, to sort of like everyone to know about Rise of Iron. I mean, for us, it's all about giving content to players, right? Mm. People right now are pretty happy with our April update. Mm. It's a really generous reward system, so we thought it was a good time to bring out some new stories. So, Lord Saladin's uh, a guy that's been hanging out in the tower and mumbling about his uh, yes. the Iron Lords. He has. Um, people have been looking at the weapon names and wondering what the story was behind yeah. uh, that crew, so we're gonna tell it. So nice. we've got a new campaign coming, cinematics, new characters. Uh, story missions, mm. quests, patrols. We've got a new uh, zone, which mm. is actually an expansion to Earth. It's a really cool looking kind of apocalyptic area that's been sealed away for hundreds of years. So you're gonna crack the seal and go in there first, mm. sort of on your journey to become an Iron Lord. Uh, we're actually doing a really fun thing with a new social space where you'll climb a snowy mountain and take it back from the enemies and then literally watch cool. over the plague land. So you get this awesome skybox with the wall below and sort of see the area that you've already conquered very cool. on Earth and then sort of contemplate what your next steps are. Nice. Got a new raid, new and Heard about that one. Got Heard about that one. Competitive multiplayer stuff coming. You, obviously with Lord Saladin, you yes, want to do some that. Iron Banner stuff. For sure. Exotic sure. gear, the whole works. Cool. So just curious, like taking a step back, you know, mm -hmm. obviously you guys could go any direction at all when it comes yeah. to an expansion thematically, right? Yeah, yeah. So why was it Rise of Iron? Why was it the well, the Iron Lords? Why was that your focus? Yeah, I mean, some of it is just uh, our game director, Barry, keying in on what he thinks is cool, right? Mm -hmm. So looking at what players were saying about Saladin, sort of teasing out those weapon names, like I said, you know, Yolder and Emperor D, people yeah. are like, who are these people yeah. and why are they important to the world? Um, and then just thinking about what we want to, where we want to take players next. I think the cool thing about Destiny is the palette is so wide and mm. diverse. Um, and Barry, the game director, actually is the art director all up on Destiny as well. So, you know, deliberately we created this really big canvas that we can play around in. So you can, we can go really deep sci-fi or like with the Taken King, it was sort of a darker revenge yeah. tale, sort of a gloomy fortress that you invade, you know. Um, and fight Oryx, who is a, like a giant winged demon, mm. right? And then with Rise of Iron, it's much more heraldic, much more, uh, I think people are queuing on like sort of Arthurian or yeah, like Nordic much. themes, right? And so you get this sort of, you know, blend of like fire It's a bit of ice. Skyrim in Destiny, kind of like yeah, that, you and know? Yeah, and the trial sets are sort of like Egyptian gods, yeah. and the Titan uh, Siva sets look very technological. Mm. Uh, the Warlock, uh, them talking specifically about the trailer, everybody can have all these sets, right? But if you mm. look at the trailer of those classes, the Warlock set looks very, uh, very much like a Viking, mm. you know, set. So it's, it's, it's just a really fun place to play around in, and of course that translates into the weapons, so... We can really open it up and have a lot of fun. Mm. You know, everything from a grounded military vibe all the way to something that uh, looks like it belongs in, like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted to know, where, in terms of directionally, is this where we can expect the game to go further in the future? Is it like we have decided that we're going to meld these two ideas, like sci-fi and, the, as you said, Arthurian? Yeah. Is that where we're going to expect things to go in future, or is this a bit of a let's try this out and see how it goes? No, it's a, from the beginning. We we sort of started adopting the term mythic science fiction, mm -hmm. right? So science fiction has these really cool human stories, but it can be kind of sterile, right? Yeah. Um, where fantasy is very human and familiar and has a much more tactile vibe to it so the fusion of those two things we think is really unique mm. uh, really special uh, and actually uh, allows us to to go wherever we want to go so mm. it, it keeps us from having to do the same thing over and over again right like uh, you know if you're a creative person you don't want to have to work on the same gun over and over again and be like well you know the next one's going to be a slightly prettier version or a mm. tweaked version of it they can sit around and just dream up crazy stuff and be like sure what if it's got like 10 wolves on it yeah. like, all right <laughs> let's go enough. let's do it let's, you know? let's do it yeah cool yeah. so i hear that uh in connection with that i'm also going to be able to make my own galahorn that's the thing i'm going to be able to do that like crafting my own lightsaber except mounting yeah. it on my shoulder well look, our facilities guys made his own physical when we use it to shoot t-shirts out that's uh, good that's really that's cool. handy of course at it events is, i suppose yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we try to get down stage but there's some like legal ordinance they were worried about Probably. some getting injured but we, right. we take it around some, sometimes and shoot them off um, but yeah there's a quest in the game mm. um, everybody can go on it after they complete the mission they can find the quest 
uh, Reforge uh, Gallarhorn. Mm. If you pre-order, uh, you can get the Iron Gallarhorn, okay. which is a separate variant that's uh, black and silver, so how a exactly standard does, one. How exactly does that work in terms of if I finish that quest, will the one I get then be black, have, or is it like a separate both. weapon? Have both. Have, it is okay. a separate weapon, yeah, and okay. you'll have both, and they'll go into your kiosk, and you can go back and get them and switch back and forth. So if you really like the white and gold version sure, best, sure. Or, or if you just want both, you can have them both. So we but, wanted to make sure that for the collectors, yeah. you know, they, they got the black and silver one, they didn't get frozen out of having the upgraded uh, white and gold uh, version, it. and we wanted to make sure as well that we didn't create uh, sandbox disparity where like, oh, you pre-ordered and I didn't, so I'm in the crucible sucking back wolf pack rounds and like being sure. like, man, where's that quest? Totally, so, yeah. totally, yeah, cool. So I'm interested to know, obviously, TTK was super well received, mm -hmm. you know, fantastic yeah. expansion. Um, really interested to know what you guys sort of learned from that that you're really keen to bring forward. Like, hey, that rocked. Let's make sure we keep that. Like, yes. What is the storytelling story specifically? Like creating yeah. cinematic moments for players. You know, like we balanced in the year one, like the difference between letting players take the four and be the sort of starring role. We don't have a predefined character for you. Mm. Uh, and I think in Taken King, we learned that we can tell big, rich cinematic stories with great characters. You know, Cade, Nathan yeah. Fillion. Please tell me he's coming back big like time, right? And, uh, of course. Okay, of course. good. That's a good, good, um, good, good. And we, and we have, um, so we're going to have a full cinematic suite, new characters that will be introduced, so you'll play a starring role in that. Um, and we also learned a lot about um, giving people more direct access to the web and gear both in the TTK uh, Taken King update and um, April. Okay. So April's been a big moment for us where we really opened the aperture up and made the game more rewarding. Mm. Gave so players tons of reasons to go customize so everybody doesn't look the same. You yeah. can go out in the gear that you want and we have this infusion system where you know you can take the thing yeah. that, uh, that you really love and take the thing that has the light look that you want and just kind of pair So that's together. staying unchanged? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there'll be some tweaks to the general systems like all across the board. Uh, right. There's a bunch of quality of life fixes that we'll deploy. Um, but yeah, overall infusion is, is not going anywhere. Sure. We like that system. We feel like it's, it's doing really well. And it's this yeah. nice balance between, you know, if you're playing more casually and you just want to dip in and dip out every once in a while, maybe just play some stories, some strikes, uh, the way my wife plays. Totally fine. That's yes. totally, totally good. And if you want to play a couple times a week with your friends mm -hmm. and you have a ritual that you do, you know, Iron Banner comes out or you guys uh, do raid challenges, then that's there for you as well. So we want to make sure that the game isn't trying to demand every waking second from you and you feel yeah. like, oh, I always have to play to, to make the climb. Uh, and we want to provide a lot of different activities that lead to the, the apex of light. So we'll have a significant light uh, increase. increase. Still, um, still not announced what that light yeah, increase we, will be? we kind of know where we want it to land, okay. but we're letting the team dial it in, right? Got it. So and that's just a combination of, of, of you know, looking at the gear that we have on offer and looking at the activities and really making it a, a nice thing. So it's something that we play test uh, yeah. up until pretty late in the process cool. internally. Uh, so we, we feel like it's doing well for us. So yeah. it's something that's super important to the game. So it's just interested about like end game loot systems. Like for mm -hmm. instance, you know, right now I can get my arms day, right? I get a, a random rolls on those. Vendor resets is cool. Obviously yep. I get drops out in the real world. It's all like uh -huh. random talents. Is all of that going to remain intact? Or are we going to see some changes to those systems? Um, I mean, there are some things we'll be announcing later down the line. Okay. So right now, uh, certainly we feel like the, the current state of the rewards economy is pretty good, yeah. um, but we're certainly not. Uh, you know, ignorant or oblivious to the feedback. So we'll make some changes and I think uh, it probably warrants another stream where we'll go sure. in and dig in on all the features that we're going to roll out. So we've got some dates planned in the future. We'll talk about, um, you know, what's coming for us, say, you know, the, the Crucible and the PvP yeah. game, uh, with obviously with Lord Salad and Emerging. Sure. Iron Banner is going to get some changes and we're going to have some new uh, modes and uh, maps to roll out. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, of course, there's all the features under the hood that we'll want to open up and talk about. Mm. I think there's some fun stuff that people are going to really enjoy, and uh, okay, I'm good. really excited to talk about them. But awesome. Can't now, not, not allowed. Right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get that, I get that. Yeah. So, hey, f coming back to the earlier question, just flipping it around, right? So, TTK, awesome expansion, Yep. but nothing's perfect. What do you look back on, on TTK, and you think, okay, that, let's leave that behind. That didn't quite work out the way we hoped. Yeah. Well, I think the, the trick for us now, I, th I think, um, is to use the expansions as drivers of content. Yeah. Right? This is where you're going to get your new stories. This is where you get you know, new and returning strikes. This is where the raid's going to get introduced and the PvP updates. And then underneath the current, we have our live team that's constantly working on uh, how the reward systems work and making sure that the bugs are fixed and mm -hmm. resolved and so we don't want to wait for the expansions to drop to make those decisions so 
Um, April was actually, I think, the answer to what we didn't like uh, necessarily, or what we didn't think was working perfectly in Taken King. Okay. Um, which was like, let's provide uh, rewards that are beneficial down any activity stream. Okay. Like T TTK was really focused on the raid. You know, mm. the raid was awesome. King's Fall was really fun, but it was really the only place you could reach the apex of of light. Right. Mm. You either had to go and get your Harrowed gear through the challenges or go into trials, and those were your two paths, and they're very difficult paths, they're really challenging and intentionally so, mm -hmm. but that meant people who were playing, you know, strikes um, were kind of left out, they had to find a way to get that, so with April we wanted to make sure that whether you're playing story stuff, mm -hmm. or whether you're playing Prison of Elders, that those felt like they were feeding you a, a, you know, a healthy helping of really cool gear that you wanted to wear, yeah. and also were adding variety to the game in the same way that Trials and Iron Banner did for PvP. So mm -hmm. we kind of called it like all roads lead to max light, right? Okay. So no matter what you were doing, uh, you go out there and find the stuff that you want. So I think that's a big reflection and reaction to what we wanted to fix up from the Taken King. Sure. And then Rise is really just going to be all about uh, content. Yeah. Players cool. right now, I feel like we're in a pretty positive place. Yeah. Um, certainly we're listening to feedback, but people are just saying like, Give us more stuff to do, yeah, which, course, is, which is a course. really good place to it be. It is a good place to be. <laughs> so your game sucks, so yeah. quit it. Yeah, totally, totally. So I mean, Nobody's just, ever said that. No one has ever said it's that Destiny sucks. Said. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. You know, um, I'm, I'm interested uh, into, in terms of like how you think this get, the expansion is going to feel, right? I know that's a really weird question. But like, you know, you, you walk into any game and you know a content update drops. Yeah. And it's kind of like, does it feel any different? Am I sort of doing the same thing yeah. as in, but with different content? Or is it like, actually, you know what? Something has changed here. This is a different experience. Yeah, I think thematically it's going to feel very different, right? The, the enemies that you fight are different. The devil splicers are kind of these mutated fallen who are integrating the SIVA into their, their technology. And the story is much more sort of heroic and mm. heraldic, so I think it's a it's a much more a kind of an epic mm. vibe. So like throughout the course of the story you'll actually become an Iron Lord. So you'll get to use their yeah. you know, this this relic axe and you'll get to, to adopt their armor and these special sets. And I think um, for a while we've been kind of claiming the armor of our enemies. Yeah. And we kinda of come out looking a little bit demonic yeah. and a little bit sinister and this yeah. time around Take although it, we maybe. do have some of those sets, we will have much cool. more heroic looking sets. So I think it's just a, a, a bigger epic vibe. Right? I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so last gen version, mm -hmm. not happening. What's the dealio? Uh, so yeah, last gen we want to make sure that all you know copies of the game are functioning mm -hmm. and working, and that people who bought the Taken King edition can keep playing that content. We're actually at a place where we've made so many updates to the base game on, on legacy generation consoles that mm -hmm. we can't actually deliver something to the scope and scale of Rise of okay. Iron. So we would have to go in and like carve some big section out of it. So that'd be really weird if you were playing on your PS3 and all of a sudden like House of Wolves went away. Like I, yeah, you know that would I mean? kind of suck. Yeah, I you, suppose. it's all built to kind of link together in a chain and. and People want to keep playing that, so we're going to keep supporting those consoles. We're mm. going to keep making sure that um, they're working uh, mm. as intended, and make sure that people who bought that content um, are able to go in and play their campaign missions and get their exotics and all that mm. fun stuff. But yeah, it's also a really good time for us to move on and focus on uh, current generation. The overwhelming majority of our players are playing sure. you know, on PlayStation Four and, yeah, and yeah, Xbox course, One. So. Um, I was going to ask in terms of difficulty, right? So one, that's one of these things that's a real challenge in any game, right? Getting that difficulty curve right. Yep. I'm interested to know whether or not you feel like TTK and the April update, uh, are they pitched at the right level in terms of the really challenging content being just right? Or are you guys yeah. looking to make further changes in the expansion? Like we need more stuff for our hardcore players or we need to t sort of tweak it so it's a little bit easier. Like where are you at on that scale? It's a little bit of both, right? So, I mean, the story content is obviously usually intended for anybody of all skill types, yeah. right? And then at the other end of the band, you've got something like Trials of Osiris or the new raid, right? Which those are require a coordination, mm. they require that you're playing with people you know, you want to go in there and really give it your best shot, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're far more uh, skill required, mm. coordination required uh, activities. So we always try to provide a blend of that. Uh, I think Taken King was definitely challenging in certain respects, and we had some quests that were really difficult mm. as well. So it's I think it's really about feeding all different types of players, sure. um, and we from the beginning thought of Destiny as something that can provide activities for every mood. And so, um, with somebody like me who plays a lot, like I want sometimes I want easy mode. Yeah, right. Chill <laughs> Friday night. Put Spotify chill with my on. friends. Try. It. Yeah, and sometimes it's like me and the crew. We're gonna go after challenge mode. Yeah, we're gonna try to get it done in an hour. Everybody buckle up. Let's yeah. go in and hit it. Right. And so I think providing those different bands is almost kind of like television programming in Destiny, right? Sometimes you want to watch a crummy reality it's show true. and it's indulge true. yourself, and you don't want anybody to know it. And other That's times right. you want to, you know, watch a really great, uh, like Game of Thrones or yeah, something. Yeah, sure, sure. And, you know, 
Fair enough. Crack a beer and sit down. You know? <laughs> this is my Friday night. Yeah. Get your blankie. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, <laughs> so really, really interested to know, um, you know, like in your view, what what do you think would be um, the legacy of this expansion, right? So TTK. Well, maybe we start from that point. Like, what do you think was the legacy of TTK? You yeah. know, like these are the two things that we like. Yeah. People talk about as being successful. TTK and what do you, for me is like a, a story. Is a story. Right? Okay. Like the like Cade and Eris and the banter yeah. and that. I think that that scene specifically is. I think a standout for me. Mm. There's the big bombastic space battle and there's yeah. the confrontation with Oryx, but that character moment with, you know, get your rock off my That's map. right. Like, that was I, the I best moment in Destiny thus far. It's, it's, far, it's yeah. a fist pump moment and it something is. that I think that people expect from us as a studio. And, yeah. And um, I think... Um, I think we're going to get some of that in Rise of Iron, but yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I sort of come to it in the same way that uh, players do. I certainly get to play it internally and see the team work on stuff yeah. and, and get in the mix. But, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm there day one. I'm going to turn it on and try to look at it with fresh eyes sure. and, and have some fun with it. So, so uh, and just, the, like, I, unfortunately, I've played the raid, right? Uh, yeah, but, sure. But, like, um, so I'll never have that experience fresh, but I try my best to go in there and keep my mouth shut yeah. and, and Fair cool. not uh, ruin it for other people. But, Fair cool. yeah. So just drilling a little bit deeper on that, would you say that... Um, you know, like in terms of legacy for this expansion, what you really want players to walk out sort of singing about yeah. is, is that storytelling again? Is that what you really... I, yeah, I think the storytelling is going to be really well received. Okay. Um, it's really fun to learn about the legacy of the Iron Lords and tap into that like rich vein of history. Yeah. And I think we want players to feel really heroic. We yeah. want players to feel like they're following in the footsteps of these great legends in the game and that when they're finished and they sort of overcome uh, this foe that mm. took out the Iron Lords that they feel like they've earned the mantle of Iron Lords themselves. Yeah, great. Um, all right, so finally I just wanted to ask you about PvP. So, you know, so obviously you've got Crucible, and I know you said there's more stuff coming that you can't talk about now. We know there's new maps, there's new gameplays, etc., etc. Yeah. I'm interested specifically in Trials of Osiris. Like, what yeah. do you guys think about that right now? Are you happy with where Trials is? Is it likely we're going to see some changes going live in that in the expansion? Like, what's the deal? Yeah, we definitely have new armor, and so we've shown that off, and sure. people are, um, you know, a Doctrine of Passing is a pretty omnipresent gun in the game. Um, we just did some work on that, but I think overall, like, we're really happy with where Trials is. Mm. Um, we're not going to see significant overhauls okay. for Rise of Iron, uh, but we're always tweaking and changing the way things uh, operate to, to respond to feedback. Um, but yeah, right now it's sort of, I think, one of the more watchable aspects of sure. Destiny we see every time it goes live, whether people are carrying other people through trips to the lighthouse, uh, or just really going hard and you yeah. know um, yeah. uh, making, a, making a big go of it on the competitive side. It's just really fun to watch, so we want to keep that aspect uh, yeah. alive. And then I think we'll have definitely some significant changes uh, for Crucible specifically are going to be around Iron Banner and how that functions, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. A new mode that we're bringing out in the new maps. Cool. Can't wait for that. Maybe some other things. Little things here and maybe there. Just little tweaks. That we'll, right. uh, maybe surprise some people with. Hopefully. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm super pumped. As I said, I'm a massive, shameless Destiny fanboy. Always have been. There's and no I think shame. I always will. Ah, you know, that's right. Well, I'm a huge yeah, good division, on guy. You. division guy. I'm a division guy. And a lot of people in my comments are not yes. going to like me saying that, but it's the truth. It's good. It's a very good game. They're both great games. It's a good game. We're, you know, people can play more than one game. Yeah, that's exactly totally right. We have sometimes play lots of time. games. Play tons of games. Play Go play some games. Overwatch. Right? <laughs> also Fucking a great games game. Games are awesome. Mate, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Really appreciate yeah. it. Take Thanks a care and good luck with the development to launch. Oh, thank you.